Different for every single woman and for some couples uh, who have a public platform, it can be uniquely complicated. All right, so Shawnee Whitlow, checking things out. You talk to the couple. What's going on? Good morning, ladies. Well, what should have been a joyous time instead, it sparked outrage and a conversation about race and fertility. After superstar rapper DeBrat, better known for hits like Functified and What You Like, and her wife Judy, a beauty entrepreneur, announced they used a white sperm donor to conceive. You know her from hits like Do it anytime you want shot and do that's what I'm looking for. And from their hit show. This season on Brat Loves Judy. We decided that we wanted to have a baby. The couple was in for a surprise. There's a shortage of black sperm donors. Nobody ever said, hey, before you do this, know that your options are limited. Fans accused the newlyweds, who were married in a lavish wedding last year on their show, of wanting a mixed race baby. As painful as it was, all the things that people were saying, I felt like this is the perfect time to be able to educate people. Back in March, we highlighted the scarcity of African-American sperm donors in our Fox 5 special, Health, Hope, and Happiness, The Black Woman Experience. Judy saw our story and posted it on her social media to point out that black men account for less than 2% of sperm donors at cryobanks nationwide, according to analysis by the Washington Post. We didn't know that when she put in her traits, it would be reduced so much. Donor can't have the same traits. Otherwise, you can risk the baby having certain diseases. So once she put in, she has about four or five different ones. And mm -hmm. once she put those in, the pool went from thousands to hundreds and maybe one black person. I mean, we were left with the, not, the options of Asian and Caucasians. The brat, who was 49 years old, underwent a process called embryo transfer, the last part of in vitro fertilization. Judy's eggs and the donor's sperm are fertilized in a lab and then transferred into her uterus. Quite a bit of a journey. Um, between um, hospitalization after my egg retrieval to us having a miscarriage. Cameras captured the couple's agony. So the blood clots in my lungs caused my heart to um, beat very fast on one side, so then I had an enlarged heart. I'm fine now. Yeah, but you... Watching her in that moment, I, I was like, okay, so maybe we need to take a break. I was hurt, but she was devastated. But about three days later, she was like, I want to go again. And so then we, we went really again. Give up. Judy, a mother of three adult black children and a grandchild, wanted DeBrat, who she affectionately calls beautiful, to experience motherhood. I wanted to be the oven to carry my wife's egg, and I've lived a full life and done everything I've ever wanted to do in life except have a child. So, and what better person to do it with than my like soulmate, <laughs> like the love of my life, my like twin flame, my everything. So, um, I just didn't want to give up. The couple tells Fox 5 their faith kept them grounded. Every single day, uh, you know, we just love on each other and support each other. And we talk to the baby and we just, it's just important that our baby's healthy and know that he's loved. And we do know that it's a boy. During Usher's Lovers and Friends Festival, Baby Boy made an appearance. <laughs> Performing alongside Usher and longtime mentor and producer Jermaine Dupri, who produced her classic album, Functified, making the Chicago-born artist the first solo female rapper to go platinum. Performing is my life, and I, I was just grateful to have that moment because that's the last performance before, you know, we have our child. Season three of The Brat Loves Judy follows the couple's fertility journey and changing family dynamics. You can expect a few guest appearances from The Brat's famous sister. Brat Loves Judy airs every Thursday night at 9 on WeTV. So ladies, I, I want to point this out because we here at Fox 5, we've been leading the conversation when it comes to fertility. And the brat, they're just one couple. Mm -hmm. As we highlighted in our special, Fox 5, Health, Hope, and Happiness, the Black Woman Experience, there are a lot of women having issues with fertility. So it's not just as easy as picking a sperm donor. There are a lot of testing and genetic testing that ha you have to undergo. And sometimes the match that you want or your preference in terms of maintaining your heritage, you're not always able to... Yeah. Keep. Mm. So. It's a difficult decision for, for expecting parents. It's emotional and it takes a toll on your body. Absolutely. Yeah. And they suffered a miscarriage the first round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they're happy. This is their rainbow baby. Well, so congrats. we wish them the best of luck. The baby's due in July.